Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my very messy desk. So uh, one of the things that I was working on before was this journal. And uh, this is a Christmas journal and I did the cover uh, <laughs> Monday. Uh, I laugh. If you, if you, I only, I'll link the uh, video down below if you want to go see how I have made this cover. But in the meantime, I have sewn in my signatures, which I am not doing and did not do on camera and probably never will. And I have attached, it's a hidden binding. I sewed my signatures to the hidden binding and I have put the heading, hidden binding in. So there is now a journal. It's a, you know, doesn't stay shut at this point. I have some places here where I can put some charms. I do not have the charms at the moment. So at the moment, that's just going to hang out there for a little bit. In fact, you know what, because I'm working on the cover and that's going to drive me crazy, I'm actually going to put these inside so that they don't get too much in my way. All right, so now I have to figure out a cover. And I went through a couple of options and I have this set of six different tops. I didn't like any of them. None of them fit. I went through a whole thing of these and I have a bunch of these and I like, I like to put that kind of a top or a frame, an open frame. I like to put an open frame on the front and leave it blank so that people can name it however they want. I don't want to name the journal for someone because you may not like that name. You may want some other name. Um, so I always try, I try to find something like this that has a blank on it. Uh, alternately, I will find something like this, but I couldn't find anything in this particular set of things either. Um, so then I was playing around with this piece and I kind of like that, but it's just is there's needs to be more. And then I went out and I found I have probably, I don't know, eight, nine, ten of these Christmas packs. And I went through the Christmas packs again and I found another sheet that, you know, cutable, cut a partable sheet. I'll cut those apart later. But I found this. This. There we go. Let's put it the right way. And I really like that. And I thought about something like this, which is kind of okay. But then I found this. And this is from. A, this is from the Christmas tree store. I miss the Christmas tree store already and it's only been gone a little while. I love to the Christmas tree store. So I, I think I'm going to do, because I have a lot of it and I have enough, I'm thinking I'm going to do a belly band. I'll get that down here. And if I do a like a belly band kind of a thing, bring it all the way around to this side it'll make a nice little place to put things on this side and then on this side it, I'm going to cement it down hang on let me see if I can pick this up with that over the top what do you think you think that works all right I'm gonna bring it up here where you can see it a little better well I hope so because that's what I'm going to do all right so the first thing I have to do is get my scissors and cut my ribbon. Old stone. This is ribbon that has does have a little bit of a metal piece in it. Um, let me close you up and put you away. I did use this ribbon at one point for a pocket in there and I will have to find that pocket sorry I know I, I probably shouldn't be doing this on camera but if I don't put it away it's just gonna hang out and get in the way so we'll put it away there now it's all set it can go away I do have a video showing my haul of ribbons and whatnot from the Christmas tree store I will put that out there for you to find okay I'm not going to do that part yet I'm going to do this part first so I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac 
and this definitely and I have folded it because it has the hang on I gotta get my glue book there it is let me do it this way because it does have metal in it it makes it actually easy to see where my edges are I'm just going to open that up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing open up my Fabri-Tac because it plugged up and then we're very carefully going to just put a line along the silver sorry I'm a bit in my own shadow there let me move that out of the way so it's not so much casting a shadow we do have a pretty sunny day here in the Finger Lakes it is nice to see okay I got a little bit too much down there so just click that up all right wish me luck here we go okay put that that way so we're on all of those we're gonna put, and you notice I'm not middle I'm that's intentional I don't want it to be specifically in the middle because this is going to be in the middle actually this is going to be to the edge I want it over a little bit okay that'll work okay bring it in here and here Fabri-Tac. I do like the Fabri-Tac because it really does work well on these odd materials. This is, oops, hang on. This is a little awkward as far as the placement, but we'll get it. Okay. What I want to do is cement this to the one coming down lining it up here we go and that makes the belly band it's a pretty fat belly band so you could put quite a bit in there and now you could take you know pretty much anything and stick it in there we'll figure out what's going in there later we're, we're working on the cover one thing at a time okay I do like how that looks rather than just have that that just looks too plain so I think I definitely want to add this to this and I'm keeping the edges square because the edges here are square I haven't put my book corners on yet I will all right let's put this to this and because this is on the outside and it's liable to get a lot of wear and tear, especially as you put it in and out of a shelf, I am going to put this on with Fabri-Tac rather than a glue stick. I want to make sure it doesn't move around. There we go. And the same thing here. So now I could make this a pocket. I don't think I'm going to. I'm not sure that I really like pockets on the front, only because of that very same, you know, what I said. It it, it gets a lot of wear and tear. So I think I'd rather just have it this way. Okay. Now that did make a little pocket down here. So I could put, I don't know, do I have anything thin? That's too fat, but Oh, you know what I've got? I got plenty of this stuff. Hang on. 
I got a ton of these. It's upside down. We'll put that in there. So we, we'll play around with these, and, and I've got a bunch of the pieces here. You know, you just put a bunch in there. I have some longer strips that could fit very nicely in there. There we go. I like that. Doesn't that look cool? I've got some things to decorate it with. So I'll decorate these up and put those in. And pretty much this journal is done uh, with the exception of these pieces. And I lost that other one. It fell down in there. So this needs to be done. Um, I will do a walkthrough on this when I get, like I said, I need to get some charms. So watch for the walkthrough when I get the charms. I'm going to have to order them. I've decided to leave this the way it is because I really kind of like that. It looks kind of, it looks old fashioned. You remember the old books that used to have a cover and then a solid piece? So I think I'm going to leave that. I, at this point, now I have this belly band on the front. I don't have anything on the back. I may consider putting something back there. I have, of course, the two pockets in the middle, which I have stuffed. Everything's stuffed. I'm not going to show it to you right now because that's going to be for later. I do have a little bit of, need a little bit more glue on my washi tape down here. It's trying to pop up. Here we go. I'm covering that up. What did I say about don't look too closely how the sausage is made? All right, so there's the cover and uh, completed, and we will see how things go. So this is Fabulous Friday. I did also want to say a big thank you to a whole lot of you who have joined my channel and have subscribed. I appreciate that. And like I said, I am giving away a journal to what I'm going to do a random drawing with the first 100 subscribers and we will give something away we need to you know I need I, it's my way of saying thank you I've got <clears throat> sorry <coughs> I had cereal for breakfast this morning and I all that milk is <laughs> just clogging up my throat I like how that says Merry Christmas. I know I'm just sitting here playing now because I have all, I have some extra stuff. So, you know, this is Fabulous Friday and you never know what you might get. And in this case, you're getting a little bit of a mixture. So you've seen the cover now for that journal and I'm just sitting here crafting and talking. A hundred subscribers, I give away a journal. The weather here in the Finger Lakes has changed, and it is now pretty chilly. It's in the 50s. I like that. Um, I used to like to round these corners a little bit, but when I do that <clears throat> on a piece this small, it gets really, um, it looks funny. It doesn't look right. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I lost my glue book. Where's my glue book? There it is. Oh my glory. My knee, by the way, is doing beautifully. I am very happy with it. I had my last physical therapy session yesterday. She has cleared me. I passed all my tests. I have a 123 flexion and a neutral uh, extension which means i'm straight more or less um <clears throat> i still have some swelling there yesterday she took my the last bit of my stitches out they do dissolvable stitches on the inside but the ends poke out a little bit and so um we just waited for them to pretty much dissolve inside and then yesterday she just went and with a little tweezers and pulled them out and it didn't hurt or nothing. So that was good. Got that part done. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything more with that. I think I might just leave it like that. That's just kind of a nice little piece. All right. 
So here's my journal. I will do a walkthrough of it and I will find some things that still need to go in it. In the meantime, this is Cindy saying, have a great day. And this is Cindy signing off.